Being that it's Christmas, I thought I'd invite you guys all out. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. Hello guys, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Today on Christmas, I am going to be talking to you about Kraft Holsters dual or double vertical shoulder holster roto system. Okay, so uh, I've been wearing this out to the movies. I'm going to wear it to the movies again tonight. I wore it to see uh, Ford vs. Ferrari. Very good uh, movie. It was very, very comfortable um, the very first time that I wore it. And uh, I wore it chamber empty until the end of the movie. And then I chambered uh, before going out to eat dinner with just a sweatshirt uh, over it. And um, kind of testing it out with a loaded mag but empty chamber, bouncing up and down to see if the pistols would fall out of the holster even in the down position. So I started with uh, one down and one up. They're both in the up position and snap. So you could be up position snapped, up position unsnapped, or down, uh, which is what I like. But if you needed more concealment, you could put them in the up position like I got now. So if it was a black tie affair and you had a suit but weren't necessarily expecting things, you could have them up or have them up and one side, the backup, primary uh, side uh, snapped and maybe the primary side unsnapped. Um, so you could mix and match and kind of play with it and therefore it's a great system because de depending on your concealment needs, if you work in executive protection, bodyguard work, which I'm going to be offering my services around the world and especially in Atlanta, Georgia, um, this is going to work out really well. It's especially good if you're driving. It's also especially good if you're driving Uber or Lyft or something where you need to access one gun for the carjacker and you might have an attack coming from the back seat from a passenger. You might need to access left hand uh, in America anyway for the, the passengers in the back seat. So uh, the craftsmanship is great. The leather is great. The snaps have been great. It just really seems like a quality system. You can see where I got it at craftholsters.com. Double vertical roto shoulder holster. Now, guys, no matter what movies you grew up on, Training Day, dual shoulder holster, Last Man Standing, Public Enemies, dual shoulder holster, or, or single shoulder holsters, James Bond, Die Hard, Dirty Harry, Tombstone, uh, Miami Vice, as you saw my 45s earlier. Here's some pictures in the movies that I thought you guys might like to see of shoulder holsters used in famous movies and TV shows. Miami Vice, again, third gens. And, of course, James Bond through the years. And this is the system, this is the exact system that... 007 James Bond should be using in the next movie. Should be using in the next movie. It should be this system with my dual Walter PPQs. Okay, there's a good shot there. So there's the snap, totally vertical right now. Depending on your dexterity or whatnot, I can hit the snap and it rotates down for the draw. Now it is a little slower. But based on your concealment needs, um, that might be something that you that you want. Okay, so I could draw and respond. Now in the down position, as I'll roll in footage, in the down position, it's ridiculously fast. And you can start cross arms. You could be talking. You could be in a fence. Hey man, I don't want any trouble. And you still got your draw and your response. Um, so same thing over here. I have it in the snap position. Unsnap, rotate down, and draw. I find I like to keep them in the down position for speed. And people say shoulder holsters are slow, but at least this shoulder holster, this dual system, rotated down, already unsnapped, is very, very fast especially if you stage the draw. So that's one reason people say they don't like shoulder holsters. Well, that's not tr so true, and especially for executive protection, I could be here, hey dude, I don't want any trouble, private event, you need to go away, hey man, stay off. Now, a lot of times you'll see me briefly lift my arm, that's so you don't muzzle yourself and then get on. Or if I do muzzle myself, it's my finger for a second, as opposed to my brachial artery. Um, no matter how you carry, there's a lot of muzzling that really goes on on your body, no matter what position that you uh, carry. But 
This system provides very good all around coverage because you never know where the attack's coming from. You never get to decide spatial relationships, guys. So this craft holster, uh, it's just really, really good quality. The leather's really nice. It's made in Slovakia, probably from some old, old world craftsmen. And in Slovakia, they know their guns. That's where Grand Powers are made, I believe, the Strebog and all that, um, which I was impressed with shooting it for the first time. I hope to run it again sometime, the Grand Powers. But um, they, they really seem to have craftsmanship and engineering really well. Everything's always very um, uh, fine and precise. The snaps are good. It has adjustments. This could probably fit someone up to 6'4". I had adjusted all the way up because I'm just shy of 5'11". Like 240 pounds, so bigger guys. Um, and there's different sizes. There's black leather available as well. Guys, here we see a picture of James Bond in No Time to Die. Now, do you really think that he should be packing a uh, little PPK in 32 or possibly 380? Or should he be packing PPQs in 9mm with a lot of capacity and way more power uh, like I'm doing now? Especially dual system like I'm doing now. Wouldn't that make more sense? Started with a 25, hands it in, gets a 32 from Q, PPK, PPKS, then eventually I think it's a 380. Maybe they don't really even say it, I don't think. And they might say 9mm Kurtz at one point. I don't know if they do. Um, it'd be 9mm PPQs. That's what this shoulder holster is made from. But if, as you saw in the beginning, and this would be the ideal James Bond gun. When enemy five inches for long range, as he's always taking on guys with AK-47s and whatnot, assault rifles, huh? And a small backup, especially if you needed to. The PPQS, you could slap in a ten-round magazine for ultimate concealability. This is more like what Bond would need. He's going down ski slopes as guys with assault rifles are coming after him. This is what someone would be carrying. The only time it was halfway accurate was one book. Uh, when he had a uh, ASP 3rd Gen um, and ASP by Theodore. And uh, really, that was much more like what Bond would have liked and carried. But nowadays, it would be PPQs. So this shoulder holster is working great with the PPQs. You also saw earlier with the 3rd Gen 45s. We'll be seeing a video on soon. Um, it actually fits those, fits, fits a couple other pistols. I was worried about falling out, but even in the down position, and I've done it with uh, mags loaded, they're not falling out even in the down position, even bending over to tie my shoes and stuff, which is, that's kind of stuff I was worried about the first time because the gun fell out and it's loaded and you might grab the trigger ND. So the first time I was very careful the first time wearing it. So as I said, I went and saw Ford vs. Roy, my dad's new book on the, 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 um, the last Shelby Cobra. Uh, my father's new book by Theodore um, just came out. The movie was great. Uh, I think I, I, I wore it to Jumanji. You can see me it went about one minute in the end of Jumanji. Um, I, I've heard he, I'm even in some commercials. So you might see me between Jack Black and Kevin Hart and one second behind the rock. And then you might see me ju dodging Jack Black's fire stick. I'm going to wear it again. Go see the new Star Wars film and just a little bit here. Overall, just uber, uber impressed with this holster system. I never knew if I would like shoulder holsters, um, but me, just for winter time, it works. Because again, when I was walking out of the theater, I just walked like this, like I was cold. And if someone, that's the transitional spaces, as opposed to locked up and whatever, I'm just here cold, no one's the wiser. It's like having your hand on a, uh, in a pocket gun. Nobody is the wiser. I'm not brandishing. I'm not threatening. I'm whatever. I'm just walking cold. And if someone decides to jump out, I'm right there. So, I mean, jump out to rob you with weapons, being a deadly threat. So, um, great way to carry the backup, great way to get the weight off of your belt. Um, and just overall, I think people need to look at shoulder holsters. I'm going to take some more footage now, sitting down, pretending I'm driving a car, and show you why it's really beneficial for that as well. All right, guys, now for pretend driving with a suit coat on a sport coat. This sport coat's a little tight. The Wolfman's been getting big over the years, and for wearing a rig um, for protection, I definitely need to get a new black suit and a navy suit and whatnot. But um, 
it's a little tight, so if you see it, but actually if I if I kept it in the vertical position, it's not really showing. But if you see it now, it's because I have it in the down position. Because you could be wearing it up, and then as you get in the car to drive, you could rotate down. So now I'm driving, executive protection, got them in the back seat, or I'm just myself a businessman around the world, South America, or somewhere where you can carry, maybe Slovakia, maybe Czech Republic, maybe Croatia, something like this in the U.S., and... Um, or I'm driving Uber or Lyft. Um, well, I'll drive Uber because that's probably better, I think. So, um, anyway, I'm driving, and now carjacker comes. Okay. So, yeah, I may lose a little bit of hearing, but that's better than being dead. So, even that auditory exclusion would probably be okay with 9 millimeter anyway. Um, so, driving, and, oh, well, you see something's up. You can prep your draw. Okay, or you could prep your draw and drive in stoplight, ready to go, or a carjacker just comes up. Okay, now, uh, backseat, same thing. This is why dual vertical shoulder holster really does well. Backseat, hey, you guys need to relax down there. Give me all your money. All right, man, okay, man, I'll get my wall. I'll get my wall. Okay, so... This system really allows you to um, provide for all around 365, 360 defense, 365 days a year, 360 degree defense. So, trouble with this, the holster is still a little tight on this side, uh, but that's a good thing. That's quality leather. Um, and it, it was fit for these pistols, but like I said, it seems like it's working pretty well, even with enough retention on a few of my other pistols. So, guys. Can't say enough good things about the Craft Holsters dual vertical roto shoulder system. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And maybe you, some Christmas, can get your very own dual vertical shoulder holster. It's within a good present price range for the quality, uh, for something that you could wear during the winter, especially guys in the colder areas and you're always bundled up and stuff. Instead of just having a 38 on your pocket, I could have 9s, 40, 45s, whatever, 357s ready to go right here. Um, they make holsters for a lot of different uh, pistols, including the PPQSC you see, which is pretty fairly obscure. So uh, very impressed. And uh, guys, please share. Please thumbs up. Please subscribe. Always makes me feel warm and fuzzy. And I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody. So guys, I'm going to demonstrate some draws right now. can see it's very fast with this dual vertical shoulder holster with the roto system with them in the down position it could be very very fast uh, yes sir this is a private event sir I'm sorry you have to leave it's a private event uh huh buddy I don't want any trouble I don't want any trouble man Mm-hmm. Really? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Okay. Have a good night. I'm sorry, I have to leave. Sorry. Yeah, I gotta leave. It's a private event. Sorry. You need to exit the facility. You need to exit. Sorry, man. You need to exit the facility. Walk into my car like this, just like it's cold. Very fast in action. Same thing if you're driving, seating, uh, whatever. It's great for drivers, Uber drivers, and uh, executive protection, bodyguard work. Hey guys, one thing more I wanted to add, which you kind of saw in the beginning of the video, is that with a shoulder holster, especially, especially this Kraft dual shoulder holster, you can access either weapon from either hand and make a draw. Now that's really important because I, I talked about in my seven reasons why uh, to carry a backup gun video, seven reasons to carry a backup gun. Very often you get shot in the primary arm, happens all the time, real world and force on force. 
were caught or busy wrestling or gun fending. There's a there's a scuffle for the gun. I could get out the other gun really quickly. Now you are totally muzzling yourself there. I feel obviously much safer doing that with a DASA auto as you saw in the beginning of the video or with DA revolvers. Um, whatever. But if you're in a firefight, you're injured, you're going to be willing to do that. And you see, I didn't shoot myself. I didn't pull the trigger until I was out. And you see, I can even reholster with the same side hand. So, make some snapshots there. So, um, as Denzel, I believe, said, stay strapped. Or get clapped, and if you needed to, you could always pull Denzel action. Okay, guys, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please thumbs up, please share, please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you very much. Wanted to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone, as well as Yippee Kaye.